spring 2012 and I'm hurt, like really hurt. And I'm still snowboarding and I just came off of like a shattered kneecap and now I'm dealing with a herniated disc and I'm just, I'm like, what am I gonna do? My body is like failing me right now. You know, every shot was a challenge. There's pain every time. Every time I went filming, I just remember thinking on this trip, how long can I do this for? Uh, is, is this the end? Is this the last season? I came back to Salt Lake. There was always a, a meeting in Salt Lake. And I just remember going through and I brought all my ideas, you know, my like crude drawings of outerwear. Uh, at the end of that, they pulled me into an office and asked like, hey, do you want to do this like for real? Do you want to learn how to do like what you're kind of playing around doing? They know for a fact that I've never actually designed outerwear. <laughs> and they're sitting there and they're like, hey, do you want to do this job? And I remember going home and being like, fuck, is this going to be a career or did I just give up something that I loved and it's going to be hard to get back into that? What am I going to do? Like, this is an opportunity for something different, but do I know how to do it? Like, I knew what I wanted. I didn't know how to articulate exactly what I wanted. So there was a lot of trial and error. And like, as a snowboarder, as a skateboarder, I think you're used to failing and it's not a failure it's just the steps you have to take to getting your trick or learning a new trick like that first season with l1 was exactly that i was learning everything and the hard way i learned quick and then i and i also learned like hey i need to do i need to do some research on my own Originally, when I first first started down this design road, it was more like looking at things that I liked and interpreting them. And now it's taking an idea, uh, a loose idea, and then you actually build it from the ground up, from the fabric, from the trims, like subtleties and fit, like all these things like come together to make a great garment. And it, it's not just like, hey, this looks cool. I like this pocket shape, for example. There's a lot more to it, and there's all these like uh, in incredible, subtle details, these discoverables that make it like truly enjoyable for me. The approach really now is like gathering that feedback from from the team, from Jeremy, Joe, Dominique, Chip. Uh, every, everyone who's involved has an opportunity to come to the table and say, hey, this is what I want, or this is what I think is cool. And I take that, I take all the input and I try to accommodate everybody's needs so they have something that they're like proud to wear and something that they feel comfortable in that makes them feel like that same feeling that I got when I was a personal where, where I'm like, dude, I feel, I feel fucking good right now. I like, I'm looking sharp. <laughs> it's cool to have that confidence that John thinks about that. He thinks about style. He thinks about the way it feels. And, you know, again, it's just for John, it's about how you look. And I can't back that any harder. When I'm like first initially starting to like sketch up designs and start to play with ideas, I look at it through two lenses. One, am I proud of this? Is this something that I would potentially wear? If it goes it goes out to the public, am I proud of that? The second is really like looking through the rider's eyes. Are they going to be proud to wear this? Is this going to accomplish like what they need out of this product? And to see it like resonate with the team and resonate with the consumer is like a really special feeling. That's something that it's like, okay, mission accomplished. I'm happy, team's happy, and it works in the market. That's the best part about working with John is, is we have such similar tastes that I can see something I'm stoked on and send it to him. 
and he can like pick up on it right away and make small tweaks and turn it into something super stylish and super functional. We started working on the theorem stuff. It was really pretty easy. I kind of hit him with a couple ideas and he bounced back drawings, you know, within a week. Uh, theorem's like truly a departure from, from what people expect from L1. And what we, what we wanted to do was create a truly technical outerwear capsule within L1 that was geared for the mountains, like backcountry, like wet, cold weather riding, more of a modular system with all like three layer shells, 20K, 20K, and a insulation jacket that went along with it. So you, on, on really cold days, you could wear, wear the jacket. The majority of our team was like heavily rooted in like city street snowboarding. And with the addition of Jeremy Jones to L1, it really created an opportunity for us to explore like more technical apparel that suited his needs in the backcountry. I mean, I love being out there. I can just shack up, you know, go under the snow and it just cakes me up and I stay dry and I like that. And I feel like I'm looking dope, you know, and that's, I know, huge for John and I trust that. The future of L1 is really like rooted in our team and what they, what they want to see, what they want to ride in, what makes them feel, feel good and, uh, and obviously, like as my taste evolves and, and what I'm into evolves, like you'll see a little bit of that. But I also don't want to ever lose like the team team aspect to this and and then the goal that L1 has always had, which was like rider driven product. Like absolutely. Oh, <laughs>